<laughs> you know, I, we, JP and I just got home about mm, two hours ago, maybe an hour and a half. Did you? Yeah. I mean, it was a long two day drive. And Did you? yeah, go ahead. I was going to ask you about your snow. Our snow was gone, but it was snow. We left snow in North Carolina. Okay. Yeah, it snowed on us going there. So, but anyway, <laughs> uh, I took the time driving. I mean, that's the thing. It's fitting in Mary Kay where you can fit it in because, I, I mean, I'm in the car driving. So I had to wait, you know, and do it when people were awake, you know, on Saturday morning. Right. When I thought they would be home. And I booked um, driving to Atlanta, I booked five appointments. And so then um, yesterday I started, we drove again and I did some booking calls and then I did some today and I actually booked two parties today and then talked to people <laughs> as I drove, you know, because yeah. we're talking time, but yeah, you just fit it in where you can, you know, and that's the thing. I mean, um, with these lessons and things, you know, I know that everybody's not going to do all of them. And like when I do my calling and doing the text and whatnot, I'm going to text 10 and only get one or two respond, you know, and I do better by calling because I called five and I had two book. Right. But the statistics, one in five book. Now, when I did 10 calls, uh, text, then I would get one to respond, you know, and that's just the way it is. So it's really based more on effort. It's doing the effort, not the results, you know, and it's text yeah. to people. But, um, my aunt, my aunt gave me 10 people on her sheet uh -huh. and she, she didn't circle call or text for any of them. So of course I started out with the first one was text. And then my second contact was to call all of them. And out of those 10 people, two of them were a cell phone. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was like, oh, Marion, thanks. <laughs> yeah. But I, I got, well, I think I have three um, facials or parties out of it. Great. But I've been... Uh, what prioritizing other things instead, and I haven't booked, I haven't booked any of those, but they're waiting for me to call them back. Book them this month because we need them in this month. So book them this yeah. month. Next, I I can fill up. I can do a couple next weekend. Yeah. Say so. what you what's what's this? Yeah, do get them in this month. Oh. I mean, that's the thing. You well, always. Huh? We're in the 20th of the month already, aren't we? Yeah, we've got 10 days left of this month to do. <laughs> I'm play, I, <laughs> I, I do have an order coming. I just didn't, I didn't put it in yet. Well, that's awesome. Have you been doing makeovers? Nope. Just okay. re reorders. That's it's, when you put product on faces, they come. Hey, well, I have that. to get out there and do it. <laughs> Okay, I just had to make sure JP didn't need me. He was sitting there looking at me, so I wanted to make sure he didn't need me. So, you know, today is create your own boss babe image. And, you know, this is what we got as a star prize. Have you seen this? Have I shown it to you, the Barbie? Yeah. yeah. This is Mary Kay image. And, I mean, basically, it's a, it doesn't necessarily have to be you know, a red jacket, a black skirt and whatnot. But when this Barbie came out in at the 40th anniversary and now we're what, 53 years almost. Yeah. But at that time we had to wear pantyhose and we had to wear closed toed shoes. I don't know if you can see those, but closed toed yeah. shoes. Now we don't have to wear pantyhose and we don't have to wear closed toed shoes. I will say some people like me, do need to wear pantyhose. <laughs> Some people don't like you. And but anyway, it's basically when then it was like a consultant wore 
a black skirt or a dress with the beauty coat. Now it's, and then it was a red jacket was a, our senior consultant rather, was a black skirt, a white shirt and a black sweater or jacket. Okay. Or beauty coat, whatever, to signify that she was a, a senior consultant. Then they just changed out their jackets and went to the red jacket, you know, when they added three team members and then team leaders the same. And then when they went into DIQ, the shirt tank changed to black. Now they wear anything under the red jacket, you know, and the red jacket, some of them are red and black, but they've got more fashionable, but it still goes to wearing either a dress or a skirt, basically. Yeah. Just you don't have to do the other. And then one of the things that Gloria Mayfield Banks, you know, she always told me from the neck up to be image. And so uh, Gloria always says if people don't compliment you on your hair every six months, you know, at least <laughs> if you need to cut it, color it, or do something different <laughs> yeah. you know, to, to make it change. And actually no one's, complimented me in six months, <laughs> but I did color it and I do cut it. So they, <laughs> I was trying to come up with something real quick to say about your hair and I missed it. <laughs> That's okay. And then they say don't wear more than one to three pins at a time because it overwhelms one to two, basically three or more is for the meetings, <laughs> but one to two, when you go to somebody's house, if you go in and you have all these pins all over you at a skincare class, I think you lost your mind. <laughs> anyway, it's one to two. But that was Mary Kay's um, request is that we wear a dress or skirt. And then the other thing is that we pass it on, the opportunity on. And so, um, Let's see, what is uh, Mary Kay image to you when you think about it? What's Mary Kay image? To me, it feels like I'm going to work, but that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not at home cleaning the house or going grocery shopping or dragging my kids around with me. I'm, I'm putting on my, my work and going and being adult Angie and mm -hmm. you know, it feels to me, it feels good. Okay. Got to start professional, like you said. Exactly. And then, you know, at this point, I've been doing it so long, and because I live so far, you know, 30 minutes out of town, when I get up to leave my house, I generally have on a dress, unless it's the week, you know, when I know I'm not working on the weekend. Have I been caught where I needed to go do something? Yes. Did I do it? Yes. You know, yeah. because from here up, I'm always Mary Kay image. And I don't always see the people. Um, what do you wear to a skincare class or a facial? Basically. I have my three or four outfits. I just rotate through. Mm -hmm. But uh, they're all sundresses, I guess. A, a, a dress, a, a sweater. That's what, when I joined, and we're talking 22 years ago, it was a skirt and a white blouse and a beauty coat, you know. It's yeah. just, it's Mary Kay image, basically. I guess basically is my word today. <laughs> I don't know how many times I say it. Also, Mary Kay image is attitude. Yeah. You know? And I mean, I told them the last, well, last week we didn't have a meeting because of the snow but and i was out of town but the week before one thing i reminded them is the customer is always right because you know it's so easy to match somebody and then they'll say oh it's too light or oh it's too dark and you know it's the right shade don't argue with them you got to make them happy. You know, what looks right for them. I will say to them, you want to make sure you don't have a makeup line. But if they think they need to be a shade darker, they're not going to wear it if you don't make it a shade darker. You know? Well, yeah. Someone just did to me this week, and then two weeks ago, I saw someone else that I 
colored that I did theirs, and she had a makeup line. Yeah. And it just drives me crazy. I know. I know. Um, one thing that we don't do, too, is we don't complain or dump on people. And like I said, I'm talking to the choir. But that's one of the things that I remember Annette saying, you know, when she trained me way back when, is if you get held up by a train or, you know, you, you're late getting somewhere and uh, you don't want to go in. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got caught up by a train and then my tire, whatever, and blah, 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 blah. You know, just, oh, I'm so sorry I'm late and get on with it because they really don't care and they don't want to hear it you know most of the time especially if they don't know you now if I came in to Angie and said Angie I'm so sorry I'm late I got held up by a train <laughs> or I misjudged my time it yeah. wouldn't bother you but there's people that it would bother they're like you know I don't want to hear all that and so and another thing I had one girl in our unit that went in and uh you know <laughs> If you don't do the right thing, you end up washing yourself out anyway. But she did one of another consultant's next door neighbors. And the I can try to get around saying the person's name. But the <laughs> consultant's mom asked me if I knew this person. And I said, yes, I do. Well, the woman knew exactly how many children she had, but she also knew all of her problems so the consultant went in and dumped everything on this lady and yeah. I, all i could do was say you know what i'm so sorry <laughs> she was there to pamper you and i'm so sorry that happened or your your friend you know but since it was a consultant's mother i could be more you know not so cautious about what i say yeah, but, you know, you just, you know, you're going in there to pamper them and you, you go in there with, well, what makes, uh, they have the, the what, radio station uh, tattooed across their head. How does it go? W-I-I-F-M. What's in it for me? <laughs> That's all they care about is what's in it for them. So pay attention to how you carry yourself and your attitude and how you look is basically how it is because people don't only buy the product they buy us they like us and if we go in with a bad attitude and dumping on people and look terrible or whatever you know i mean we had one time somebody hollered out the window to one of our consultants that shared this to me she they said and they said do you seriously think you're gonna sell mary Kay looking like that uh you know, and I mean, I don't remember what she had. She had gotten flea bites or something out in the yard and her arms were showing and they knew that she was Mary Kay. And I guess they could see all that and made a comment. Now, I think that person was rude anyway to say that to her. But anyway, right. I would have kept that covered, <laughs> you yeah. know in public if people knew i was in mary Kay, i'm gonna look the part you know anyway that just shows you how people think i texted a lot of people before i called you and my phone's going <laughs> <laughs> okay and go into our notebook list the names of several mary Kay boss babes that you admire did you list people on your list that you admire have you well <laughs> of course there's you <laughs> I think I think a lot about um, who's Michelle Pope's uh, DIQ uh, go ahead yeah Lynn Lynn, Lynn yes Lynn. How she sells everywhere she goes she does and she has that stutter she doesn't let anything stop her no she just is right on and she waited a long time to get her last year, she just exploded. Six months. Yeah. She did. And I mean, she sells everywhere she goes. I mean, she always blows my mind. I was at the airport and I thought, what are you doing at the airport? But anyway, she's selling. Selling mascara. <laughs> Who else can you think of? 
Um, I, every time you open your mouth and talk about someone, they have an incredible story. So it's just Mary Kay boss babes in general. But yeah. that, that, um, is that the million dollar moment when um, you call in? I've yeah. been trying to do that almost every day, and they're so motivational too. Yeah. So with mine, I listed Diana Sumter, and I got to see Diana at leadership. And oh my gosh, the tears just filled my eyes because she <laughs> taught me so much. And just to be in that atmosphere again, where there's the motivation, there's the friendly competition, where you where you are excited for what your peers do and it makes you want to be better, you know, that's Person. how you feel around her. It's like her, her area, you know, and being around her people makes you want to be better. And, uh, I just enjoyed getting that. Oh, I think we were there like five hours and it was awesome because we ate and then she did her mid year recognition and, you know, all of that. So that was awesome. And then Cherie Taylor, she, I mean, I don't know if y'all, you've ever been one-on-one -on -one with Cherie, but she came here and spent the night with me. She came and did an event with us. She stayed two nights. She has so much knowledge inside her head. You know, Diane is a D personality, which she's very, um, she has to soften herself, basically, which she's honed in on that skill. She does soften herself around S personalities, which I'm an S. And a D is a stronger personality. I'm trying to think who you know that's a D. Like Carol Buckley, you know, was a D. And yeah. then who else is a D in our Cindy Brobst is a D. I mean, I'll think I hurt their feelings and they're like, what are you talking about? You know, because yeah. <laughs> that's my personality. But yeah. Cherie is an I personality and she's real excited, you know, excited. She's prize oriented. Uh, the I personality is. But Cherie has so much knowledge that comes from Mary Kay with her training and then I like Julia Mundy too, because she's got the Mary Kay training. She's so much with Mary Kay and she invites everybody in. And, uh, and then Michelle Pope's my other one because she just stays consistent. She keeps works and keeps on working. And so the next one is, um, which I mean, and her people are on fire. I mean, I like Lynn and, uh, Joyce and the different ones, they're just all on fire and they're all working. Um, let's see. And then which she and I have the dad gum. <laughs> she and I have the goal of Cadillac by seminar. So <laughs> I'm either working it alone or I'm working it with those who want to come along with me, you know, but um, what stage quality do you see in the people that you listed? What draws you to them? The Mary Kay boss babes and I their um their positivity, but just without being intentional, they still motivate the people around them to want to be better themselves. Mm -hmm. It's like not a reflection, but I don't know how to describe it. The things that I, the, the words that came to me, intuitiveness, they work, they build their business at the business, they stay in the past, they enjoy life, they're living their dream. You know, yeah. um, they put God first, they pray and speak of the Lord, they, li they love life, they love people. Um, they make amazing income. They, uh, they're living their dream life and they have quality time with their family, their personality, recruiting skill, and their work ethic. And all the people that I mentioned, it's their work ethic. I mean, but you've got to find your why that makes you work when you don't want to work. And I know every 
job that you have, there's things you hate about that job. Is that true? Yeah. But you do it anyway, right? Right. So when Mary Kay, I don't know of anything I hate, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but it's the work, you know, keeping your work ethic, getting up and working anyway. Um, even when you don't want to. And I mean, that's, that's just how I've always been. I knew that if I had to make, if I'm going to make money, then I have to get up and work and I can't depend on anybody else. And I certainly don't want to lean on anybody else. You know, it's my director told me one time, no one can disappoint you that you're not leaning on. And I thought, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, of all the traits and descriptions that you listed, which three best describes you as a Mary Kay boss babe? I didn't even list three. How many did you list? <laughs> I have motivation and positivity. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a highly positive person. <laughs> and so that leaves motivated and my motivation comes and goes. So, <laughs> Well, I think mine would be stick to itiveness, work ethic and loves people. Yeah. My work ethic. And also I thought of, um, pampering the person in front of me. Maybe you know, what I see in you is you love to make people feel good. Yeah. I mean, when you leave a facial, you're excited about that facial. You're excited about how they look. You, you, money's not in your mind. It may be there and I don't know it, but your whole focus is that person. Yeah. So, um, and then I love how you just get up and do it anyway. Yeah. Cause I mean, when you got to Pennsylvania, you just went to work and you started working. And so if you set in your mind to do so many appointments a week, you'll do them. Yeah. You know, it's just holding, and like me, I look at my date book, and I want five days booked with something, because I know if I have five appointments up, one to two will hold, so I need to get 10 up a week to get a third of that to hold. Yeah. Yeah, and so right now, the directors and I made a pact at leadership. We had a, a pact. I guess that's the thing to call it. But anyway, we decided to do booking blitz for parties, not facials, for parties. And so there's like nine of us doing it, and we have to pass. Barbara calls it passing the baton, but like um, Gina's number one, I'm number two, and then number three, four, five. So Gina has to get a party booked, and as soon as she gets it booked, we're on a group me app. And so as soon as she gets it booked then she puts on there, um, I got my party booking with this person at this time and date, Vicki, it's your turn. I'm passing the baton. So then I have to get the booking. Right. And then the net, and it goes on and till it gets through everybody through the day. So it kind of holds us accountable and makes us get a booking whether we want to or not, you know, but, Serious, right. we want to, or we wouldn't be doing it. But, and that's the, tonight. There's 15 parties booked from the directors, just from doing this. I mean, it's uh, it's just holding each other accountable. Um, what do you see in Katie that makes her that's her boss babe trait? She she makes the other person feel so beautiful too. Yeah. And just, she's a business person like you. I mean, I see that, you know, that she's um, a bit a business person may not be the right word, but she, she was, she's, yeah. a, she's a business person. She's got business sense and she knows how to do it. And uh, that's the same thing with you. You know, you have that business sense and you know how to do it. 
and uh, that's what people buy into, you know. Like she does hair and she's doing hair, people come back and come back and come back to her because they love her. Right. If they didn't like her, they wouldn't go back. Yeah. And I know that's the truth because there's a girl that did my hair where I get my nails done and I'm there every Tuesday and I can get up out of that chair and go over to her. But she quit cutting hair and I had no idea. She just quit. And when I went to go for my next appointment, basically she was gone. You know, yeah. they said, Oh, well she's not here anymore and she's not cutting hair. And I thought, isn't that nice? You know, I didn't know that. So I went to Lisa, the other girl in there. Well, I like Lisa. And Lisa's moved probably five times <laughs> since then. And I have to drive, you know, 30 minutes away to get to her from where I get my nails done. But I don't care because I like her. Yeah. You know, and I like the way she cuts my hair, but I like her. So I'm not going to leave her. And that's where people say, why do you still go to the same nail person? Well, I've been with Carmen probably 17, 18 years because. I like Carmen. Yeah. You know, and that's the thing. I like you. I like Katie. People are going to like you and Katie and they're like, they're not going to come to me because they like you. They connect with you and they're not going to come to you. They connect to Katie. You see what I mean? So it's just, you know, people buy you as well as your product. It's not just the product. So, which of the traits and descriptions, traits, descriptions, do you want to develop in yourself in 2018? Oh, I wrote consistency, but as we were talking, I, I want more confidence, too, because I was going to say about Katie, what I think is already there in me, but I don't feel it. Like, when you sit down with Katie and she makes you feel so wonderful, of course you want to buy it. Uh -huh. Like pay money for it. And right. I, I think people probably feel that way when they're with me too, because they do buy the product. Right. But I'm just so surprised. Oh, you want to buy that? Okay. <laughs> so I need to expect them to buy it because they should. <laughs> well, with me, I put stays on task and recruiting skills because I want to get better at recruiting. And I know. Well, that to me too. You know, we, we, I mean, I know that I'm good at recruiting or I wouldn't be a director, but I want to paint the picture better for people. If that yeah. makes sense, you know, for what you do. So what you want to do is you want to pick one skill at a time and focus on that one skill until you get really good at it before you try to perfect another. Well, mine is going to be expecting them to do what I want them to do because I know they should. <laughs> and if, if I don't expect them, if I don't have the confidence, then they're going to see, they're going to sense that and they'll shy away from it. Maybe, maybe not because I wasn't confident. I didn't think I was, but people thought I was confident. Yeah, so you presented it. If I present it in a more confident way, then yeah. that's, that's what it is. I had a lot of fear for a lot of years. And people, maybe they bought from me because they were knew I was afraid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I mean, I was not confident for a lot of years and carried a lot of fear. And you know, that's just was my nature to be fearful, you know. Some people are very confident in front of people and other people aren't, you know, and it was a skill I had to build. And so now people tell me I'm extremely confident and I just laugh because I don't see myself. <laughs> I still see the person in the beginning where they see the person now, if that right. makes sense, you know. So, I mean, there's some things that, that, uh, we don't always see. It's just when you lose weight, sometimes you still see yourself as bigger than what you really are. You know, and it's, it's the same thing there. Um, think of some of the Mary Kay boss babes that you admire and respect and what stands out about their image to you. Um, they're so happy, that confidence. 
the way they carry themselves. Yeah. And that's, that's skills that they built. Like every time I see Diane, well, any of the people I listed, they're always dressed Mary Kay image. They're sharp. And even if it's a day when it's not a Mary Kay day, they're dressed sharp, you know, their hair, their makeup, their clothes. I mean, I said something one day at church and I said, cause I was like in, in, uh, I said, I don't always wear Mary Kay image. Like when I'm off, you know, sometimes I'm, you know, like a Wednesday night at church and our church, you can wear what really, whatever you want to do, want to wear. But like if I wear pants and a shirt, I'll say, well, I wasn't very, you know, dressed because I wear dresses all week long. And sometimes I want to be in pants. And one of the, the girls spoke up and they said, but Vicki, you're always sharp in what you're wearing because you have your bracelets on, your necklaces on, your earrings, your makeup, your hair, and you've dressed up whatever you're wearing, you know? So, I mean, we do things that we don't realize we do, you know, just to, to look better. But anyway, some people don't care, <laughs> you know, and you know, they don't care. But anyway, um, you're going to a party with a group of three to five women. What do you want them to notice about you and your boss babe image? That same thing that I feel happy and I'm comfortable. I'm confident and sharp. I look good. That's what I said was personality, love people, how I treat yeah. people. You know, that's important to me. And then image. It's funny. Mine's personality. And, you know, I want people to, to feel that I make them feel good. Okay. And then this next week, you know, which we're a few days behind with last week being gone and, and whatnot. But did you notice um, that they were posting pictures of their sales with different glamour looks? Oh, yeah. Martina and um, someone else did. Carol too. and Shirley. Yeah. yeah. That, okay. This is to tell you everyone doesn't do what they're supposed to. <laughs> they <laughs> all do the lesson. You know, we don't all do. It's it's F it's based on effort. Everything we do is based on effort and results come. Just like if you're booking, you, you may call 20 people. Well, that's your effort. Well, the results are going to come from that. When right. you book a, you know, five parties, that's effort. And then your results come from it. And it may be that you don't, somebody said today or yesterday in a text with the directors, well, I texted you know, I did my booking for an hour, but I didn't get any response. So, I mean, it happens to directors, too, where, where we don't get responses. I just got one that says, I'm out of town right now, but we'll get together and do that. And I was like, hot dog. <laughs> That's another <laughs> booking. <laughs> yeah. anyway, um, we couldn't get together, of course, one-on-one, -on -one, and we didn't do it at the studio. We didn't do makeovers on us, you know, because we're all... Um, consultants but but as a, and this says as a result of your own makeover today which like i said we didn't do that what will you incorporate in your new boss they look what new products colors tips do you love and want to do on a regular basis and so what we're doing is we're doing a new glamour look every day for five days and then you post that look now, maybe that they did the glamour look and they didn't like it and didn't want to post it, <laughs> you know, but we're doing those um, and just try a different look each day and take a selfie and post it on our Victorious Angels page and then work on booking 10 daily and post your results from that. And like I said, it's effort based. It's not, you know, if you don't get it all in or someone doesn't book, that's not your fault. Sometimes we book 10 people and we don't get a response. Today I booked 10 and I got two bookings and then this third one. So, I mean, I've got two parties up and six facials. And that was from riding to leadership and riding home from leadership. 
and yeah. I have not booked the whole time. I just took, you know, an hour or so in books. So, but anyway, so how did you, what was your results from your bookings working on the 10 bookings a day, the last fall state class, the week after that, how did you do? I, well, I worked it consistently for, um, maybe four days or five days in a row. Uh huh. And, um, they're waiting on me to get back to them. <laughs> so what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to get back to them. <laughs> okay. My <laughs> challenge to you was to work on that tomorrow and call me back and let me know who you got booked or text me, whatever you want to do. Yeah. You know who you got booked. Deal? Deal. <laughs> you too, Katie. <laughs> Katie's going to listen to it. And she's like, I'm not doing all. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, but anyway, that's what we're working on is the five, you know, five different glamour looks. Take a picture and post it. And like I said, everybody didn't post them every day. And I don't, I think it's because maybe they didn't like them or maybe they did or maybe they didn't do them. I don't know, but some of them did and then work on your 10 bookings, you know, a day. And, uh, you got anything to add? I was going to say, you talking to me? I'm the only person here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got anything to add? Anything you want to say? Anything you need help on? <laughs> no, you're, um, you're right that consistency is what does it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And I mean, it may take doing like your aunt did, getting 10 leads, you know, from another person, somebody that you know. Yeah. So how did your facial boxes work? Oh, I have, and I have one. I only have one facial box out there and I got a name in it. I've been carrying it around with me for a week and I haven't called her yet either. But <laughs> that's another one. <laughs> it, it's been ridiculous. <laughs> I was in North Carolina at the Chinese restaurant in Mooresville, North Carolina and walked up to the register and there was one of the facial boxes that I took a picture of it. Yeah. It had a ribbon and a pen and the little things for them to fill out. And I said, look, JP said, look at that. And I said, yeah, somebody's got a facial box out. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, well, that's all I have for today. And then I'll talk with you next week on uh, Sunday. Sunday. Yep. For week three. Yeah. Do you want to go 30 minutes later? That would be wonderful if you can. Okay. Yeah. yeah. At 8.30? Yeah. 9.30 your time. Okay. Yeah. That'll yeah. be fine. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Well, you go make great things happen, and I'll wait to hear your um, results. Success. Enjoy being home. So I'm, re I'm ready to get to work. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to do a month's work, worth of work in 10 days. <laughs> yeah.